What is up everybody? This is Lyle, No Hippie Trucking and Transportation, coming at you from the TA in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Have a delivery tomorrow morning, 0900, so have a little bit of time to chill right now. About four miles away from my delivery, and we're supposed to get one heck of a snowstorm out here, so my intentions are to uh, drop off this load tomorrow morning tell dispatch not to make me available till this storm passes by and we will pick it up after that but what I wanted to talk about in this video was fuel pump etiquette now I'm a rookie driver just coming up on three years so I may be totally wrong about this but common sense is common sense okay uh, before I get into that I just want to talk about uh, I haven't been able to get any traction on any loads you know coming out uh, from you know, trying to get a load off the yard. I got a great load going down to Texas with a pre-plan to back it up. Trailer went into the shop, wasn't able to run that load. Ended up having to sit overnight uh, at the terminal, pick up another load, which uh, had a little bit more time on it than necessary. Uh, then I pick up a load Let's see, I pick up a load, well, when was this? Two days ago, they got me loaded late, wasn't able to make the appointment time. When they set the appointment, that appointment was pushed out till Monday, so I wasn't gonna be doing all that sitting, so I ended up taking that load to uh, our Auburn, Indiana, I believe it's Auburn, Indiana, our uh, terminal out there picked up another load so I just really haven't been able to get a lot of traction going on but uh, let's get on to this fuel pump etiquette like I said I could be wrong now if you took a look at the thumbnail on this video that is the fuel pump at the TA in Girard Ohio that Petro has 14 pumps seven on each side of the uh, little store that's there. So I pull in there last night. It's about two o'clock. I need to get some fuel for the truck, trailer, and uh, get some def. So there's probably about four pumps empty on my side and about five pumps empty on the other side. There's really only four people uh, sitting in these fuel islands and all those people were sitting in the fuel island taking 30 minute breaks. I was at least fueling, doing all that. So anyway, I fuel up, I pull forward. Now, this is, fuel pump etiquette at night is different than fuel pump etiquette at day. If you don't run a lot of nights, maybe this isn't the video for you, but one thing that you don't do or I don't do at night is pull up behind somebody when there's empty pumps available. Now I will do this on occasion, but then I'll walk up to the truck driver in front of me and say, listen, I'm not in a hurry. I'm just back here chilling. I just don't want to take up uh, any fuel, you know, any fuel islands. And those would be typically at smaller places where there might be only two, maybe three empty pumps available. So anyway, I get everything fueled up and I'm kind of blocking the entrance to the place you know when you get reefer fuel I don't want everybody to have to walk all the way around my truck to get into uh, the store so I pull forward all the way to the line a truck pulls up behind me now keep in mind there's all these empty pumps I got a bunch of pumps on the side that I'm on and a bunch of pumps on the side that I'm not on so I'm thinking this guy's pulling up behind me for the same reason he's gonna to have to take a 30. Well, when he pulls up, he doesn't start fueling right away. So I'm thinking, okay, that's what he's gonna do. I had probably about 10 minutes left by the time he started pumping. So he finishes pumping. Now I'm down to about four minutes. So he gets out of his truck and he walks up 
he starts walking up and I think he's going to say, hey, I'm not, you know, rushing you off or anything. I think that's what he's going to say. So he walks up and he's like, do you plan on leaving? <laughs> now, I'm already pissed off, you know, because I've uh, now I'm doing split logs. I had to take a load all the way back. Anyway, enough about that. So he pulls up or he walks up and he says, do you plan on leaving anytime soon? I get out of the truck. I walk because I'm trying to be a smart ass at this point. I get out of the truck, I walk, I look at all the empty fuel pumps, and then I walk around to the other side, and he's probably wondering what I'm doing. I walk around to the other side, look at all the empty fuel pumps over there, and I'm like, in all your infinite wisdom, you thought that the best pump to pull up to was the one of the only pumps where somebody was actually fueling with all these empty pumps around? So... He gives me some kind of crazy look. I have like at this point after I do all this little bit of walking around, I got about a minute and a half left. So I go ahead and uh, actually, actually I had started my truck before he had, uh, before he walked up. So I have about a minute and a half left. So I creep up a little bit before he didn't say anything when I asked him if, you know, in all his infinite wisdom, he thought that this was the pump he should pull up into. I still am curious as to why that was the pump he wanted to pull up into. I mean, it'd be different if that was the only pump that had def or if, uh, I, I still don't know why this guy pulled up behind me. But anyway, uh, you know, at night, it's just a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? at night and this isn't necessarily one of those truck stops because there's always parking if if i didn't have to get fuel and i was just taking a 30 this is a place where you could have just parked and not really taken a spot from somebody but a lot of times at night even if there are spot you know a few spots available i won't take those spots from people that are actually trying to come off the road and park you know what i'm saying so uh I feel that that's just the wrong thing to do. Take a spot from somebody looking for spots when spots are hard to find. Like I said, this wasn't that kind of a place, but this truck stop is so huge that there's almost always gonna be an open pump available. So anyway, give me your thoughts on that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong in the way I'm looking at this, but to me, common sense would be pull into a pump where there aren't any trucks especially if there's like seven eight of these pumps available so like i said school me on this maybe i'm looking at this the wrong way but uh if there's a trucker out there that says you know maybe i'm wrong then i have to refer back to common sense on my end but anyway that's about it uh I pulled into this truck stop this morning at uh, around 0600. And one of the things I was actually going to do was I was planning on sitting there a little bit longer than my 30 minute break because one thing that I'm always trying to be conscious of is when I'm pulling into truck stops in the morning. Uh, you know, the later the sun starts coming up, the later some of these solar power truckers get out on the road. So I didn't want to get out here at, you know, 4.30, 5.30 in the morning and have to worry about, you know, parking and stuff like that. So I actually did stop uh, a little bit further down the road at another truck stop. Sat there a while, burned about 45 minutes so I wouldn't be coming in here too early. But uh, anyway, that's about it. Hopefully this snowstorm isn't as bad as they are saying it's going to be. Because I am going to be taking the advice that they were saying in the prime meeting. I believe Dennis Davis said, you know, maybe part of your pre-planning should be not to even start driving that day. So like I said, I will be uh, taking that advice and sitting this one out. Because I hear this one's supposed to be not only snowy, but icy. 
so I could deal with the snow, but I'm not out here dealing with all these curves and I just got done dealing with uh, what is this highway out here 16 or 19 and then there was like a 455 or something like that this morning I got here with all them hills and curves and speed limits of 20 miles an hour for trucks I got out here with uh, how much time did I have on my clock you have zero hours and 10 minutes yeah I got out here with 10 minutes left on my uh, 11 hour drive clock this morning so I was worried I was even going to make it here with all them hills and curves and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, enough rambling on. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.